Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're gonna pop the hood, open the door. Over near the kick panel right here, pull that lever. Now release the latch, you pull this lever, put the hood up. You're gonna remove this trim piece right here. You're gonna take a flat blade screwdriver, just get underneath here, pull that out, and then just pull, pull it forward. Clips in back here, and there's some clips underneath. We'll do the same for that side. All right, for the sake of the video, we took the wheel off. You don't have to take the wheel off to remove the bumper, but um, it's easier to show in the video. Uh, you could just turn the wheel to the side to access these bolts. Um, so the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clip off right here. I'll just use a clip removal tool, pull the center part out a little bit. Then the clip will come out. Now I'm going to remove these bolts. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket and a ratchet. This procedure is going to be similar to the passenger side. Take these bolts out. This is a eight millimeter. Using the same eight millimeter socket and ratchet. Right. It's clipped in right here. Just use a trim tool to slide it over. This piece, we'll slide this way. Now we're gonna, have to dis we're gonna have to disconnect this air temperature sensor. There's a little connector right there. Push down on the connector, pull it out like that. We're gonna disconnect this fog light connector. Just push down on that tab and then pull the connector off. We're gonna disconnect the horn. There's a little tab on the back side this connector, you're going to push it and then pull the connector off. There's the little lock, so you push down on that and then pull the connector up. And you're going to do the same for the passenger side. On this vehicle, there is these holes right here. Um, your vehicle probably has some push clips in there, so Keep in mind you're going to want to take those out or there might be screws, but this vehicle doesn't have them. All right, there's two bolts that hold the front bumper on. There's a Torx bit with a T50. We're using a T50, an extension, and a ratchet. Um, it might be a little easier if you use a universal joint to take these off. This one off. Just like that. We'll do the same for the other side. All right, the only thing left is these sides are clipped in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab on the side and pull out forcefully, just like that. There's those clips that are clipped in right there. It's the same on the other side. And then grab the bumper, just pull it straight forward. The horn is located right here on the back side of the bumper. You possibly can do this while the bumper is still on the vehicle, but for the video purposes, we're gonna show you how to take it off with the bumper off. 
I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And we're going to get this nut off right here. Once it comes loose a little bit, I'm going to hold the horn itself while I'm unscrewing this. I can do it by hand. Take this nut off and we can slide this horn up. And there's the old horn. This happens to be the high pitch horn. The low pitch horn is on the passenger side. And the process for that would be the same. When you're installing a new horn, you want this um, horn part facing down because there's a little bracket right there with some air holes. It's going to send the noise through there. And we're going to line this up here in the hole. Install this 10 millimeter nut. Take our ratchet and we're going to snug it up. And snug that up. I'm going to reinstall the bumper. Just get it lined up. Line the sides up over here. It would help to have two people doing this but it's not impossible to do it with one person. I'm gonna slide this in there. Lock it in place. We're gonna do the same for the other side. Lock that in place. Nice and locked in. Right, now we're going to reinstall these Torx bolts. Just line these up in the hole. You may have to wiggle the bumper a little bit to get them in the right location. Once that one's started, before we tighten it down, we'll get the other one started. Tighten these up. Snug those up pretty tight. Torque these bumper bolts to 55 newton meters or 40 foot pounds. We're going to use this torque wrench. We actually sell these torque wrenches at 1aauto.com. We're going to hook up the wire connector for the horn. that right on like that, line it up, and the connector for the fog light, just line that up, lock it in place. We'll do the same for the other side. All right, now we're going to reconnect this connector for the ambient air temp sensor. Just slide it on just like that. We'll line this inner field inner fender well up, up top that goes underneath, and then on the front side of the bumper, this goes above. And over here, this is going to lock in place over here, right here. It's going to slide in like that. 
Now we're going to install these eight millimeter bolts or screws right here and right here. Right, we're going to snug these up. Just tighten that snug and then this one as well. Just snug. I'm going to put another screw right here. Put a screw right here. Get those in there. And we'll snug those up. Install this lower headlight trim piece. Uh, there's a little slot in here that's going to line up with that fender right there. And push that on and lock it in. And then slide this underneath the headlight and click it in place. And we'll do the same for the other side. Now we'll close the hood. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.